Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got a cool new tool for the shop I'm gonna show y'all, and hopefully get a little bit of work done on the M38A1. I'm sure y'all have seen these on other channels. This is one of those really nice bore scopes for looking down in cylinders. Uh, this one's really cool, it's USB rechargeable. It's got a uh, mini SD card in it with I think like 30 gig of storage. We'll get into all that in a minute. This is the Depths Tech. DS650. So I've already got this one charged up. It's got a really nice backlit screen. Now right now I've got the cap on the end of the camera so that's why it's showing up that way. It's got a bunch of options and settings in here. Very easy to navigate. I've already went through it, but I'll show y'all real quick the startup screen that just explains all the buttons and the functions of what everything on here does. But the real question is, does it do what I need it to do? So let's go pop the hood on the M38A1 and pull some spark plugs. I've been meaning to come out here and do this for a while. So I do know this engine's not locked up. You can turn it over by hand, but I have no idea like what shape the cylinders are in, if there's junk down in them. Somebody's pulled like all the spark plug wires off, but I think all the spark plugs are still in there. So that's always a good sign. So let me go grab a ratchet and a socket, pull these spark plugs out and see what we're working with. So that one is already pretty loose. Yep, none of those were tight. So power on. See the camera's working now. See what we got here. So it looks like this cylinder is probably all the way up at the top, but it's got this nice little uh, swivel knob here you can move the lens around don't see anything crazy let's go to the next one so this one's a little further down it'll give us a better view around in there man look at them cylinder walls that does not look bad at all this top of the piston looks good very nice and there is you can adjust how much light that is so cool so there's my final spark plug lineup i only found one that's either got oil or moisture on it for sure gonna look at that one i'll probably just look at all six of them just to be safe once i get those checked out i did get some brand new spark plugs i'm gonna go ahead and throw them in too no surprises on these front two the middle one did have a little bit of carbon buildup, but it still didn't look bad i thought i'd show you all this one though just because it's kind of interesting this one looks like it's got a spider living in it looks like a bunch of spider webs in there and stuff it had the spark plug. I don't know how it got in there. Got them new spark plugs put in. And I know it's not like a huge success for the day. That's probably as far as I'm going to go on this. But sometimes it just takes doing little things like that to get you fired back up about a project. It's always fun to get a new tool for the shop. And a bore scope is something I've really been wanting. I've been looking at. I talked to the people at Depths Tech, and for y'all, I've got a 5% discount code. I'll have it down in the description along with the link to buy this. I don't know if it's on Amazon just yet. This is a new product, 
But once it goes on there, you'll have the link to that plus the 5% discount code. I've got to say, I am really impressed with the quality of this. The screen is crystal clear. The different light settings, those all worked great. The swivel head, the cord, it seems like it holds its position really good. It was really nice because I was trying to film and stick it in the cylinder at the same time, but worked really good. I'm not sure on the price point yet. Like I said, it's a new product, but I will say it does seem like a very quality tool. And again, I'm really happy to have it in my shop. I really appreciate y'all checking out this week's video. Maybe I can fix y'all up with a little discount on a really cool tool. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I'll see y'all next time.